I can hear you. Okay. Let's go class. Yes. Okay, Carlos. Okay, let's begin with this new lesson. I'm recording the class. Let's begin. Activity number one. Today we have a speaking activity. Okay. I hope that you can. Okay. Uh, this activity has to do with the international Cambridge exam and, of course, Duolingo international exam. So it's a great opportunity for you to improve and to show up your English. Let's begin with the activity number one. Okay. Before we start, I want you to learn vocabulary. The first word is car. Car. What is car? This is car. This person is carving a wood. Negro. Carving the wood. What is carving? You know? Car. Car. This person is carving the wood. Is carving the wood. Okay. Car. You got it? Yes. Yes. Car. This is a chisel. This is a chisel. Cincel. We say chisel. 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 So this culture uses a chisel to carve the marble. Any questions about this word? No, it's okay. Okay. Because remember, you need to understand, you need to grasp these words because then you will use them. You will find this in the questions. Uh, this is a jack-o-lantern. A jack-o-lantern is a carved pumpkin and people usually in the US, they put a candle inside the carved pumpkin and they have this jack-o-lantern. This is a piece of decoration, okay? You got it? Okay. Jack-o-lantern, remember this word, jack-o-lantern is a carved pumpkin that people use for decoration in the US. They usually put a, a candle inside. And this is a pumpkin, of course, a pumpkin, you know the pumpkin, and this is a pumpkin scoop, pumpkin scoop. Questions? No, it's a pumpkin, you said, right? Yes, pumpkin, pumpkin. This is a horn, but in the picture we have two horns. What color are they? They are red. Red, red of course. Goofy a smile. An adjective that you can use with the word smile is goofy. So we say goofy smile like this. Sometimes kids, kids they usually they usually make a goofy smile. A caretaker. A caretaker is the person who takes care of your babies, who takes care of your mom, your grandma, your grandpa, or someone who is disabled. These persons make food or prepare or clean the house, do the chores, do the laundry, but especially this person, talk to this person and help, help this person. This is a caretaker. Did you understand the word? Yeah. Did you understand this word before we continue? Yeah, let me know, please. Can you hear me? No. Now I can hear you. Now yes, I... Yes, uh, so my headphones doesn't work, I think. Okay. Okay, okay. You, can you fix them or do you want me to wait? I can wait. Remember that we have one hour class, so one hour class that we can I can I can I can wait if you want no problem yeah okay, give give me a second I no will turn on my computer because in my, my cell phone I can okay see, no I can listen to you well oh that's great give don't worry don't worry take your time yes okay favor me marca los este, headphones que están afuera los negritos. Coloca los en su misma cajita y te fijas si es que entra el cargador de ahí. De... Uh -huh. 
No, déjalo yo. Sí. Este, por favor, alto los cargadores, que, los estos que te dieron. Um, a ver, tráelo, mi amor. A ver, fíjate si se le hace. No sé. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Sí? A ver, de tu hermano, de tu hermano. No, mi amor, el cargador de la mami. No las no se ve. Okay, Carlos, now I can do it. Oh, sorry. Now can you hear me? I think. Yes, so, now right, that's great. That's mm -hmm. great. I think, uh, well, do you have questions about these words? Because then I will ask some questions and it's important that you know the meaning. These words like caretaker, horns, smile, goofy, pumpkin, jack-o-lantern, no questions, car, no questions? No, no, it's okay. It's okay, of course. Then we have this difficult word. This word is advanced. This is embrace. What is embrace? For example, um, in Peru, for example, I have a question. What do you think? In Peru, like 20 years ago or 30 years or 40 years ago, uh, well, did people celebrate Halloween? Here in Peru, no. Yes, no, right? But Peruvians, Peruvians embrace Halloween. You see? Embrace. What is embrace? Like a choir. Acquired, of course, acquired a culture, acquired a celebration, acquired a custom, a custom, of course. This is embrace, adoptar, but not you, you don't adopt a child, you adopt a culture, you adopt a, a manner, okay? This is embrace. This word is really advanced. Then you have headband. A head, this is a headband, of course. For example, when do we use headbands? In my case? Yes, when do you use headbands or you don't like using headbands? Yeah, I like it. Maybe when it's really hot. Uh, when it's really hot or maybe when you, when you what? When you work? Uh, when you do exercises? When you do exercises or you work out. You work out. Ah, work, out. work out. Or you exercise, okay? You exercise. This is a paintbrush. This is a paintbrush. And these are seats. Seats, look at it. these are seats, right? Questions? No questions, right? Yeah. No, correct. I see clean. When you are against something, okay, you don't agree with that idea. For example, I am against killing animals for fun. Okay, I am against killing animals for fun. What about you? Are you against what? Mm -hmm. For example, I am against killing animals for fun, like, like birds. What about you? Okay, I am against when the men fight to the women. Yeah, when the men have, oh, the men have a fight. Have a fight. Have a argument. Argument. Discussion. That have an argument or have a fight. Have a fight or argument, or you can also say you are against fighting, fighting either a man or a woman. Okay, yes, or you are in favor of, for example, I am in favor of teaching English since kids, since a uh, early age. Uh, I am in favor of teaching English, uh, the poor, the poor. Okay, 
So now let's discuss, let's talk about this. Have you ever carved a pumpkin? No, in my case, no. I, it's my dream, I think, because I, I want to do it. But here in Peru, where, I, where can I find a pumpkin here in Peru? Yeah, it's very really difficult to find an orange pumpkin, right? Because people, people don't, how do you say, plantar, semillar, cultivar in English? They don't grow, 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 they don't grow or they don't plant pumpkins, right? Because yeah. they need the seeds, because they need the seeds, but they don't buy it, okay? That's great, that's great. But you know that you, you told me that you like to, okay? You would like to, to carve a pumpkin because yes. it's pumpkin. Is it easy to find an orange Halloween pumpkin in your country? Yes, of course. It's so difficult. Uh, it's very difficult, right? Yes. Okay. Do you think that pumpkin carving can be considered artwork? Yeah, I consider yes, because you have to be patient to do this kind of art uh -huh. when you want to transform maybe this pumpkin in, a, in an art, I think. In an art, of course, because you know that people carve, people carve pumpkin in the U.S. to make what? What is the it's purpose? It's a tradition, right? It's a tradition, but they want to make something like, like this, you know? Do you remember? This is a pumpkin. Do you remember? What is this? Yeah. It's a witch. No, no. it's a... Uh, it's a jack. Jack? Ah, the jackal. Do you remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jack o' lantern. Jack lantern. Yeah, because ah, it's a carved pumpkin. This is the purpose. They carve the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. Are there any pieces of art in your country that involve involve plants, fruit, or vegetables? Like in the U.S., for example, they carve pumpkin but what about here in your country in Peru here in Peru I think in our country yes because uh, maybe there are some chefs that they are doing this kind of art when they prepare different kind of foods dishes you know, with the special mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables with the special fruits yes yes I agree I agree okay describe a memory a memory that you have of learning something from a parent or a caretaker in the kitchen. For example, I remember when I used to be a child and uh, my caretaker taught me how to cook soup, tomato soup. What about you? Mm. Um, maybe when I was a child, I remember, I remember, a caretaker like this. A caretaker. A caretaker. A caretaker. It was um carrot soup with a uh, corn soup. You know, okay. the piano. Of course, I I see I see what you mean. Ah, uh, you yes. you learn how to cook. You learn how to cook. Exactly, but when I was maybe eighteen, twenty. Uh, yes. uh, when you were thirty, nineteen years old, you yes. turned. You turn, for example, I'm 26, and then you say, oh, yesterday, oh, tomorrow I turn 27. I turn 28, okay? Uh, okay. Cumplo un año, I turn. For example, I turn next year, I turn 27. I turn 28. I turn 28. Are you 26? Am I 26? Yes. Yes, I am. 26? Yeah, oh, sure. Okay. I am 26. You are so younger. <laughs> so younger yeah. to me. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but I work a lot and I study a lot. That makes yeah, me yeah. I know. I know. Very <laughs> older. Next, uh, do you think that families in your country should embrace Halloween? Mm, um. Mm, maybe yeah. For example, when when I was maybe when I was uh, ten or eight years. Mm -hmm. All the Halloweens, okay, uh, my mom went with me to all, um, and we went and passed to the houses and knocked the doors 
and ask maybe sweets. Ask for you ask for sweets for candies. Yes. Okay. yes, yes, yes. I but, remember this, but my mom loves. But I me, I didn't know. understand. In this case, I didn't understand what happened. Yeah, but then when I was grow up, I tried to understand about what is this this about Halloween. Okay, when you were growing up, when you were growing up, um, mm -hmm. you understand this tradition. Okay, mm -hmm. but the question is families in your country. I mean, I'm not talking about your family. I'm talking about families in your city, in Peru, in your country. Mm -hmm. These people should embrace this tradition from the U.S. I mean, they should embrace Halloween or it's um, or not, not exactly. Not. No, I think no. Why not? Maybe they consider it's an it's it's a terrific custom, maybe culture. Okay. It's talking about maybe the devil, devil, devil. The devil. The, the devil. devil. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Maybe okay. they consider. It. Ah, yeah, that's true. Okay. That's true. So maybe this celebration mm -hmm. has to do with the devil. Uh huh. Yes. With, with the, the devil. devil. Or the celebration is related to. To the devil. To the devil. So the next question, are you against celebrating globalized holidays? For example, are you again celebrating Christmas? Are you again celebrating? Because for example, in Peru, like long, long, long time ago, people didn't used to celebrate Christmas because they used to live in the sun, right? So my question is, are you again celebrating globalized holidays? Or what are your thoughts? No, I, I don't against. This is correct. You are, you are not. Remember that you say. I'm not. Yes. You I'm be not against. You are off or you be against. Okay. Okay. When I say um, que no estoy en contra, I'm you not are, against. You are not against or you are in favor. You are in favor. You are um, in favor. Yeah. In my case, yeah, of course. I am in favor of celebrating the globalized holidays because we are a human beings, right? And we need all the time and a special uh, time maybe with the family to feel relaxed, to feel maybe do another different, uh, to do uh, another different activities that makes you feel relaxed in your life. Okay, this is the word that maybe you are looking for to take your mind out of yourself. For example, and playing with my dog and singing my favorite music takes my mind out of myself. Take my mind out of myself because why? Because I forget about my problems just for a moment, but I forget my problems. So I take my mind out of myself. This is the word that maybe you were looking for, right? Yes. Okay, that's so cool. That's so cool. Yes, I, I agree. I totally agree. And I strongly believe, this is another one, I strongly believe that people should embrace, but another or different celebrations, right? Uh, instead of Halloween, maybe, which is kind of related to the devil. So I prefer Christmas or maybe Valentine's Day, right? Good, good. Then we have the next word, surround. Surround means rodear. Surround, rodear, surround. And the devil, you told me this word, devil, diablo. So now this is our activity. Before, before I ask the questions, I want you to tell me what they are doing, what or how they are feeling, what is the moment that they are celebrating, whatever, okay? Or describe the picture. Three, two, one, start, please. Okay. So um, I think I consider they are at home. They have a an special time because they have the custom to carve art. Carve art, yes, right. Carve art to different punches. But here I can see uh, a different shape than the punky because the most of them I think they are round. And here they have, they are like a pierce. Okay. The, the shape maybe. 
and they are so happy and to try to get um get the inside of the pumpkin and maybe they are going to then they are going to prepare a special maybe dish with this with the pumpkin mm -hmm. and um, that's all okay that's so cool that's so cool the first question what are they doing they are are carb art carving recuerda el verbo is carve uh, c a r v e carve uh, they are carving but what carb. are, yes what are they carving they are carving up they are carving pankies a panky or pankies that's great mm -hmm. that's great that's great and uh, no, no, no. yes because they want to make what mm. they want to make what uh, are you are think? sure are you sure remember that or maybe a dessert a dessert or dessert dessert, dessert right dessert. Dessert. Oh, yes of course but but if you wanna if you wanna make a dessert do you do this no, right? Because you just do this. This is not necessary. So this is not the purpose. Maybe uh -huh, yeah. they want to make a, you put, remember, a candle. Um, a jack, a jack. Jack uh, a jack o' lantern. A jack o' lantern. Yes, yeah. yes, of course. What can you see in the background? In the background. What can you see in the background? I mean, this uh, is they They decorated uh, the house with all the, the things uh, related to Halloween with different okay. pumpkins with words of course of course and the background you can also say you can also say it because are you sure maybe are they in their house maybe at a school maybe at a store maybe where when you are not sure because you are not pretty sure right 100% you can say it looks, it looks like they, it looks like, I guess, they might be. Remember that in English, it's pretty common to use this word, might, may, could, when you are not 100% sure, right? So we say, well, it looks like they might be at their house, they might be at a store, and they are having a great time together, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, okay, so you, you can say, what are they? Mm, uh, it, it looks like they are, uh, they are in the shop. Oh. It looks like they are at a shop, of course. It looks like they are at a shop, a store, maybe at a store, mm -hmm. at a store. Okay, store. and how do we call this in English? How do we call this? This furniture, armchair. which is Tell me. Mm, this is a armchair. No, excuse me. No, wardrobe? Um, no, this is a shelf. A shelf is un estante. Un estantecito. También podemos tener un bookshelf. Un librero. Bookshelf. A wardrobe. Wardrobe is armario. Oh. Yeah. Yep. So... Okay, so you can say, well, in the background, what can you see in the background? I can see two shelves. Two shelves. And what are inside the shelves? They are? There are four pankies. Four pankies. Plants. Of uh, course, of course. What, what about this girl? Um, How does she feel? So she is, um, she's the daughter of her. Okay. Oh, she is her daughter, of course, of course. Maybe you are telling me that she is her mother, right? Yes. Well, you can say, well, she might be her mother because you are not sure. This is just your 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 your, uh -huh. your opinion, right? So you can if say, if I'm not sure, I have to say maybe. Yeah, maybe or might or could. You can say, well, I think she could be her mother. I think, I guess, she might be her. How do you say cuidador, cuidadora? Uh, take care. No, caretaker. Care, 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 care. 
you can say, well, she might be her caretaker and it looks like they are having a great time together. It looks like, because I'm not very sure, but I see that that the, the younger, the younger sister, because for me, they are sisters. You say, well, I think the younger sister is having a great time to, uh, there because she is, she's smiling or she's laughing. What do you think? She's smiling. She's smiling. Remember that you say this, I am smiling, but you are laughing. Ha ha ha. You are laughing, but you smile. When I take a picture, when I take a picture, I say smile or laugh. Smile. A smile is different. You smile and then when you say ha ha ha, you, you are laughing, of course. How do we call this in English? You usually put this on before you cook. You usually put this on before you cook. How do we call? Um, a? Apron. Apron, mandil, apron. So you can say, well, she might be the teacher. Maybe they are at a school. Maybe when you say maybe, quizás. Maybe they are at a school. It looks like she is the teacher. She's teaching them how to make a jack o' lantern. What can you see in the, in the, remember, in the foreground? Remember, foreground, and this is in the how do we call this? In the in the background, and they are in the center. center. In the foreground, la parte de adelante. In the background, en el fondo. In the center, en el centro. What can you see in the in the foreground? What can you see? In the foreground, I can see three punkies. They looks like a uh, peer. They they looks like of course. Yes, they looks like a with peer. with what with what? Look with, at this. With funny faces. Funny is this funny or do you remember? Uh, this is a, a goo. 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 Yes. Mickey Mouse and a hio a hio. Do you remember? A goofy. Goofy, look at look at look at his face. Goofy a face. goofy face. It's a goofy face, of course. Yeah, a goofy goofy. Face. And, and what is this? People usually buy this product at the supermarket. Yes. Yeah. Start with this. Scoop. 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 A scoop. Scoop. A scoop. And and what are these? What are these? Bra uh, brushes brushes you can say paint brushes paint brushes and and paint and paint of course and paint so maybe maybe they are painting the pumpkins with goofy goofy smiles with, with goofy smiles of course what what is this she's wearing what she's wearing what she's wearing horns She's wearing, she's not wearing a horns. You cannot say a horns. No. no. She's wearing, what is this? First, before you say horns, what's this? Len, no. Ah, what is this? A head. A head? Head. Ben. Get yeah, head ben. Head ben. With what? With horns. Head with what color? Horns. What color are there? Red horns. Red horns, of course. Okay. So, let me show you the answer and then you can use this example in the future or in the next picture. So you can say, well, uh, this is a common picture, okay? Or probably this photo was taken on Halloween in the US because in my country, people don't embrace that celebration. Aha, he usado, mira. People don't, don't embrace the celebration. I would like to have a great time like these girls. I think they are... Um, at, a, at a, maybe at a restaurant or at a school, I think, because she might be their teacher. I think that the younger student is having a great time because she is laughing. On the other hand, the second girl is smiling. They are carving a pumpkin probably because they want to make a jack-o'-lantern. In the foreground, you can see that there are four pumpkins with, ha with happy or goofy smiles. 
of course, we can see two, how do you say, um, this is in Spanish, brochas, the pintura paint brushes with paint. Oh, pen, okay, of course, with uh, in English we say paint brushes because they are painting the, the pumpkins. In the background, you can see that there are two shelves with more pumpkins. This is a great picture. And that's it. Esta es la forma en la que tienes que describir si es que deseas tomar un examen internacional o solamente si es que deseas practicar. Siempre tratamos de describir la imagen. Luego de describir la imagen, tratemos de comparar un poco. Yo comparé que la niña se reía y la niña se estaba sonriendo. Dije qué cosas estaban haciendo. Dije que tienen en común y describí la imagen. Any questions? Aquí te he dejado un, ex un ejemplo. ¿Ok? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Now, let's discuss with the next, with the next part. Vocabulary list. Waitress. You know this word, right? The waitress and the waiter? Yes. And how do we call this? Croissant. In English, this is a French, this is a French word. So we say, quoi, croissant, croissant. Like quoi, 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 croissant. Yes, we say croissant, croissant, of course. Single croissant you, is in uh, English, right? Croissant. No, it's, it's in French, but of course, we, we use the same, the same pronunciation. We have the same pronunciation. Croissant in French, and like you change your accent, I think you say croissant, croissant in English. But if you want, you can use your French accent, of course. Then you have adjective. This is single use. You use once. You use want, single use, que se usa una sola vez, single use. Clothes, cloth, tela. For example, I need, I need clothes, necesito tela, because I am a whatever. You see? I sell clothes to the factory. Much, much, que combina, much combinar, combinar. Outdoor, fuera, indoor, dentro. Outdoor activities, actividades afuera, en el campo, al aire libre. Indoor activities, actividades dentro de algún lugar. Outdoor, indoor. Okay? My question, you play soccer outdoors or indoors? Indoors. Indoors, dentro, al aire libre, outdoors. Great. This is an apron, and I mentioned this before, right? Apron. This is uh, plastic gloves. Plastic gloves, guantes de plástico, plastic gloves. Yes. Okay, then we have a cup. This is a saucer. El platito del café, saucer. Saucer, it's not a dish, it's not a plate, it's saucer. This is the handle, el asa, handle, handle. Handle, también es el asa de tu olla, handle, handle, okay? Saucer cap, then we have a beaker. Beaker, son vasitos para bebés, vasitos para principiantes. Beaker, beaker. And this is a mug. Questions? So mug is bigger than the cap. Mm, I don't think so. The difference is that this is a cap, but this is a mug. I mean, this is like the, the shape, the shape, just the shape. Ah, okay, the shape. The shape is like this, and the other is like this. That's all. This is a tray. This is a tray. And how do we call this in Spanish? Mascarilla. Nope. Mascara de? De tela. Yes, because cloth is tela. Mascara de tela. Okay, so let me ask you some questions. How many times have you been to a restaurant or a cafe since the COVID-19 pandemic began? Mm, I have been mm, to a restaurant maybe two times and that's all because okay. all the time the rest of the time I stay at home okay okay maybe twice right twice right twice yes twice and tell us about your favorite cafe what do you like about it Cafe is 
to ref is referred to to the place, right? Or is or to that coffee? Okay, exactly. okay. Remember the place, the place where you buy coffee, the place where you buy coffee. I mean, the beverage. Okay, the beverage, the place where you buy the beverage or the ingredient or the ingredient is a cafe. Sometimes you can find like this, cafe or cafe. But the, what you drink, the ingredient is, is coffee. It's coffee. And this is a misconception that some of my students have. Cafeteria, in the cafeteria, well, they don't, or you, all the time, I mean, or you don't always, you don't always buy coffee. You don't always, because the cafeteria is, for example, at a school, when it's like 1 p.m., the students go to the cafeteria, but do they want to eat coffee? Do they want to drink coffee? No, right? They want to have their lunch. So the cafeteria is a lugar donde van a almorzar, es un hall común. Okay, la cafeteria no es donde venden café. Donde venden café es el café. Y que tomas café. So you, tell us about your favorite café. What do you like about it? Okay, so I have a special coffee. It's uh, called um, the Sun the Sun Coffee. Like this is the, the name coffee. of this. Oh, yes. Okay. And what do you like about it? Because it's a peaceful place. A peaceful place. Yes, there isn't a soft music, and the chairs, the tables, they are so comfortable in front of the beach, oh. and you can talk. Oh, that's yes. great. You can have like, you can relax, you can unwind. Uh, I like this word, which is unwind. Okay. Unwind to relax, unwind to relax. Okay. In front of the beach. Yes, we have a beautiful view. View. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Do you think we will be wearing masks for the unforeseeable future? Um, imprevisible. The word is imprevisible. Future. Futuro imprevisible. No, I consider no because it's really awful like this when you are talking and it's necessary you have to breathe. Okay, yes. it's not the same without the mask, right? Maybe uh, because you breathe. How do you say dioxido de carbono? Yeah. But okay. in English? Uh, the carbon. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Mono dioxide. Yeah. Dioxide. Do you remember this okay. word? Yeah. Uh oh, where's that? Carbon monoc monoxide. Monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really bad for our body, even for the process, right? Yes. You can say that you feel uncomfortable. 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 I'm pretty sure that in the U.S. and the U.S. people say comfortable. Okay, comfortable. It's okay. You can say comfortable or comfortable. In the U.K., people say comfortable. Sorry, comfortable. But in the U.S., people say comfortable. Oh, okay. Yes, I, I know I speak American English, but sometimes I use the word comfortable because yeah. my teacher was British. Uh -huh. oh. She was British and it's real. I fossilized some words like comfortable or maybe sec sec secretary. In American English, we say secretary, secretaria, secretary. But in the UK, people say secretary, secretary. And I fossilized those words. It's difficult for me to forget those words because when I was a child, I was learning those words, so it's really difficult. Yeah, but this I I I want to I want to say say that. And I have a question: Did, did you see people wearing masks in your country before COVID nineteen, before the pandemic? Oh no, I haven't. No, no you before, didn't. Right? Right? Yes, yes, before no. the pandemic, you didn't. You didn't. Yes. 
But what about uh, in the hospital? Yeah, but maybe only the doctors, not all the maybe. people. Only doctors, only doctors. Okay, that's cool. What type of breakfast do you like? Mm, so I prefer maybe this kind. Of, I, I like to the kind of breakfast. It's bigger, I think. Okay. For example, breakfast. a big jazz, orange jazz, maybe with a, a cup of coffee and um, bread with maybe uh, chicharrón okay. like this and with a tamal, tamal and yes with a, a with a so salad with with, with a salad tamal. yes and spicy and oof. especially at the weekends especially <laughs> at the weekends yes or on the weekends on the weekends or at on the, the weekends, weekends right on, on the, on the week weekends american english at the weekend british english okay on the, the weekends that was great. Remember that ensalada, you say salad. That's great. Sal, ensalada, salad. Okay? Ensalada, salad. Sal is salt. Salt. S-A-L-T, salt. Salt. Tamal is great. Chicharron is okay. Maybe this. Um, a jar. Uh, sorry. A jar is un pote. A jar. Let me, let me write. A jar. A jar is un pote. Puede ser un pote. Como te viene el café, has comprado café en, en un pote. Ese es un jar. Yes. Okay. Luego tenemos a jar. A jar. A jar. Uh, this is a jar. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, this is a jar. Un, una jarra. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This is a jar. A jar. You can say a jar of orange juice. Jugo se dice juice. Juice, orange juice, y una jarra sería jack of orange juice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's cool. That's cool. And you like, okay. I think that your your breakfast is healthy because you eat or you have different ingredients or different edible elements. Edible, comes, comestibles, edible. Let me write that word. Edible. Edible, edible, okay. Well, that's great, that's great. How often do you eat croissants? Mm, um, rarely, I think. <laughs> Not rarely. all the time, yes. Okay. Not okay. all the time. Not all the time, cool, cool. No, because I don't know exactly where can I find the croissants. Okay, you, you don't know where you can find no. croissants, right? Okay, I'm in mean, the bakery, I think, because my mom, when she goes to the bakery, they say, do you have croissants? And this person say, oh, the clerk, the clerk is la persona que trabaja allí, un clerk. Digamos, le suena raro decir empleado, le llamamos colaborador, la persona que colabora en el trabajo, colaborador, the clerk. This person say, uh, says, um, yes, we have croissants, croissants, qua, 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 croissants, croissants. Qua. Cro croissant, creo que le dicen croissant, es croissant, 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 of course. Ah, so you, you rarely, you rarely. Yes, because near to my house, there mm -hmm. aren't a lot of bakeries here, maybe oh, one or two. <laughs> there are, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. that's, great. that's great. Nice use of the quantifiers. That's great. That's great. Okay, let's continue here. So now we have some pictures. Sorry, we have just one picture. So please describe this picture, baby. How does this girl feel? Or what is she wearing? What is she doing? You have the vocabulary. So start. Okay. So I think she is, she, um, it, look, it looks a restaurant. She it looks is, like a restaurant. It looks like a restaurant. What else? It looks like a restaurant. She's a waitress. Uh -huh. And uh, she is... Um, she has an important oh, pedido like this. Order. Um, order, right? She's an important order uh, to the president, maybe because she's nervous, a little nervous. And mm -hmm. she has a cup of coffee with a cousin. Uh -huh. And she is wearing an apron um, with a plastic. 
with plastic, plastic gloves. Gloves. But how do you say de uso único? De uso único. Um, this is an on single Sing. single use, right? Single use plastic. Plastic gloves. Gloves. And and where where is the cup of coffee and the croissant? Uh, it's on the. It's they are on the trays. On the tray, and where is the cup of coffee? On, it's on. On the. On the saucer. Saucer. On the saucer. On the saucer. saucer. And and what is this? Uh, she is wearing a cloth mask. Cloth mask. And look at look at her makeup. Her makeup and her mask. Do they combine? Yeah. So they no. another way another way to say combine, or mm -hmm. maybe they don't combine. They. They mix. Uh -uh. They. Mm, they matching. Yes. Yes, of course. So you can they say her match. makeup and her clothes mask match. Oh, match. That's great. That's great. So okay, this is all for now. That was great. So now you are you you told me that she was kind of nervous. Remember that when you have o u in Spanish, I think o u we say e. For example, danger, dangerous. They is not dangerous. We say dangerous. We say fey mess, fey mess. You say fabu, fabulous, fabulous. Fabulous. So you say ner nervous, nervous, nervous. Okay, you get it. You say adventure, adventurous, adventurous. Did you understand? Okay. So before we leave the class, and because we have some minutes, I wanna share. Um, I wanna share something with you. You never say I wanna share. Uh, I, I want to share with you something. No, no, no. We say, I want to share something with you. Okay. For example, I want to share a nap with you. I don't say, I want to share with you a nap. You see? Yes. No es como que en español. Quiero compartir contigo una aplicación. No, es quiero compartir una aplicación contigo en English. It's more common. And the app is called Free okay. for Free for Talk. You have to write. This is in real life. Okay. But if we're talking, you click on the first one and you can find someone who wants to practice with you right now. For example, this is full. This is group is full. Join. Join here. Look at this. Click anywhere. Click anywhere. And then you can start talking. Listen here. No, 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 no. Your name is Hind, right? Where are you yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I where are you from? I'm curious. I'm from Indonesia. You find it in he's what? saying that he is from Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh, that's cool. You can say, Yes, we're from Indonesia. Yeah, we're fine, bro. Yeah, they uh, are talking right now. You know, it's far away. Hi, Minna. Yeah, anyway. So, Hen, you're from mm -hmm. Indonesia, right? Well, yes, I'm talking I am. to him in real yeah. time. Of I'm course. in love by your name, actually. Yes. You can you can use this app, you know? of course. Well, and you can close wow, here. wow, this is. You want to close this? Sure. Okay. And you don't need to log in. You don't need to log in. No tienes que loguearte nada. You can practice here, for example. You can also create your own session. You're saying create, create, and you can join here. Me voy a unir a cualquiera. Recuerda que cuando se llena, máximos cuatro, ya no puedo ingresar, se llena. Okay, and you can practice. If you want, you can turn on the camera. Puedes encender tu cámara. Pero evitemos ese tipo de cosas. Solamente conversemos. Si ya practicas con la persona y consideras que es una persona confiable, puedes encender tu cámara y puedes practicar y sentirte con confianza. Okay? Te voy a no, okay. el enlace. Yes, please. Can you share me? Because I was looking, but I can't find it. Okay, aquí está. Okay. Uh, yes, that was like so. I was writing what you said. For example, dijiste de, de, de las pumpkins son redondas. Dijiste the pumpkins are around. No, son rounded. Rounded. Redondas. Rounded. 
Okay. Around is alrededor, right? Alrededor. Y rodear se dice surround. Recuerda que alrededor es around y, sur, y rodear es surround. Rodear. Surround. Okay, so we're going to stop here. It was a pleasure for me to be here with you today, and I hope to see you in our next lesson. So Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. No. Yeah, because tomorrow is Friday. Yes, we have a class tomorrow. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Carlos. It pleasure. was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.